Yo, what's up, Core Calisthenics? Today we're gonna be making a push-up Imam video for you guys. We're gonna get our chest and tries pump in. What's Imam stand for? Imam is every minute on the minute. So you do your reps. Once it hits one minute, you do them again. Once it hits two minutes, you do them again. You could do this with any workout. Today we're doing with push-ups. We're gonna do 10 different variations. If you haven't seen our variation video on push-ups, go check that out. We did 50 different variations, starting from super beginner to super advanced. So whatever you're at, you can definitely find some variations to do this EMOM with. All right, so a few things we want to touch on before we get into the workout is when you're doing the workout, we're doing, we're, for the purpose of this video, we're doing 10 reps every minute for 10 minutes straight, leaving you with 100 reps total. So for the first minute, it might only take us 10 seconds to do 10 reps, but by minute six, seven, eight, it might take us 20 to 30 seconds to do the reps, only leaving us with 30 seconds, 40 seconds of rest. That's what makes it much harder. It might take you longer to do the workout, you're gonna get less rest as time goes on, building a lot of endurance. So like Nick said, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be doing 10 reps every minute on the minute. So what I want you guys to do when you get to the end of your EMOM is to do an extra set at minute 11. And if you're still getting 10 reps, that means you didn't push yourself hard enough. I'd rather you guys cut off reps by like set eight or nine than to be able to do an extra set with the same amount of reps. But if you do get to that 11th minute and you can still do a set of 10, that means next time you do your EMOM, you wanna add a few reps so you can really push yourself and burn out. Okay guys, so this is Nick's second grader handwriting, but these are the 10 variations we're gonna be doing today. We just went to our push-up variation video, we picked 10 and we're gonna do them. Also, definitely um, work on your form here. You wanna make sure you're at least breaking 90 degrees on every single rep. Personally, I think it's not a rep unless your chest touches the ground. I know not everybody has that flexibility in their shoulders, so it's okay as long as you're breaking 90 degrees. You gotta have good form, each and every one, otherwise it doesn't count, and there's no point in the workout. Using the right muscles, and that's it. We're gonna get into it. Yeah, I'm gonna start my clock on. Three, two, one. That took us 20 seconds. Now we have 40 seconds to rest. So that's a lot of time for now, but as we get on, maybe it takes us 30 seconds. And we got 30 seconds to rest, so that's what makes it difficult. Another quick tip. Try to keep your elbows in. You wanna prevent having your elbows out like this. That's gonna put a lot of um, stress on your shoulders. You wanna prevent injury by keeping your elbows in, putting more stress on your triceps. A 45 degree angle. Get your protractor out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anytime we're doing close grip, you wanna protract really at the top of the rep. Think about pinching the middle of your chest. Remember guys, don't just go through the motions here. You still want to do every workout with a purpose. Another point, keep your core tight. Don't be lagging on that core. You don't want to be any kind of banana shape. You want to do the seal. Yeah, no seal, no seal. <laughs> Guys, two different ways you can do archer push-ups. I'm gonna do this way, and Nick's gonna do it way here. Super important, you keep your straight arm locked out on whichever side you're going.
here guys we'll show two different types of explosive push-ups nick's gonna clap i'm just gonna get my, my hands off the ground for those of you who can't clap Guys, once again, if you don't have power laps, that is not an excuse. Stack books. These are the cinder blocks. You could use these if you have them, but these represent my books. Stack a few textbooks from school. Stack a few books you've read. That's elevated. Guys, so we literally just finished the Imam. That's why we're obviously still pumping pretty big right now. But um, like I said, go on to that 11th set. See if you could still do the same amount of reps you've been doing. If you can, you didn't push up hard enough. Next time you do push up Imam, add two reps. Imam is literally one of our favorite ways to train. We do it two, three times a week. Different um, workouts, no matter what you do. You do it with pull-ups, you do it with planche for all you want. You just do one rep every minute on the minute. So you just change your difficulty level. Always remember to change the variations as well. Changing the variations today was what made it really hard for us. We picked uh, variations that would be difficult for us and it'd be more of a challenge. So uh, change up the variations, change up the workouts. Do the Imam, I promise you won't regret it. And like always, like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on TikTok. Comment what you want the next video to be about. We have to make it for you. Oh, <laughs> we'll see you in the next. <laughs>